who is ready for another show. How are you doing tonight? Welcome to Hellion Rebellion Rock and Roll Association. Got something uh, a little special, a little different for you tonight. But let's uh, let's recognize the uh, the forefathers of of rock and roll before we get started. With uh, the first one being uh, Tony Lewis from the band The Outfield. Always found uh, The Outfield somewhat fascinating. <clears throat> Not that I'm a huge fan or anything, but they're one of those rare oddities where they come from London and they just were not very popular in England or uh, Europe, but they were incredibly popular in the United States and had a whole slew of hits in um, the primarily the 1980s. Usually it's the other way around. Usually it's uh, usually a band is 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 from uh, America or Canada, and they go off to Europe or Japan or you know some of the Asian countries, maybe South America, and they become really popular there. And then and then we're like, oh oh, I didn't realize that was artistically valid. Come on back, we we, we love you. That's usually how it happens. But in, in this case, it's it's totally opposite, where uh, <laughs> they were incredibly big in America, but not where they where they were from. Um, it happens. There there are exceptions to the rule. Uh, the second one being uh, Spencer Davis. Uh, the Spencer Davis group is uh, is pivotal, highly. Uh, Highly important when it comes to bringing R and B, uh, soul music, blues music uh, to England to Europe in general. I mean, they were uh, highly influential in the '60s. Some people they want to think that it, it's it's bands like the Rolling Stones and. The Rolling Stones did a lot of blues and, and soul covers, but they still sound like the Rolling Stones. That's what makes them so great. The Spencer Davis group sound like the groups that they're covering from America. And uh, they, they really introduced a lot of American music and, and, uh, and sounds to that part of the world. Uh, I, I highly, highly, highly recommend you check out the Spencer Davis group. They are they are incredible, and and you probably know most of their songs or their their big hit songs by way of a man by the name of Steve Winwood. Steve Winwood uh, is the original singer for the Spencer Davis group, and when he went solo, he he continued to sing a lot of those songs. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, give it up to those that have gone before us, and then we'll get on with uh, the meat and potatoes of what I do. Okay. Uh, today, we are going to Stockholm, Sweden to bring you a hardcore band 
by the name of... Hold on. Hold on. I can say I can say it. Amoba. That's amoeba in Swedish. You probably didn't realize I was bilingual. Uh, I don't know anything about this band <laughs> other than they're from Stockholm, Sweden, and they're fairly new. I will say this. I love the fact that within the last 20 to 30 years that bands from all over the world don't think they need to uh, speak English anymore to sell a record. And I totally agree. The world has changed. Everything's online. Nobody's vying for that big record deal. If it happens, it happens. And these people are uh, proud to speak how they want to speak. They are on uh, Hardware Records. Hardware Records comes out of Germany. And... Uh, That's all I have. So let's go ahead and check out some... Hold on, hold on. I, I, I can say it. I can say it. I mean... A MOBA. I mean, look at this, man. Look how they're writing all little symbols and stuff. I mean, just because Sweden has Dismember and Great Chocolate... And, and they put out a band called Crocus. They, they think they can just write any way they want to write. I mean, who understands this? Come on. I'm sure, I'm sure this is a, a socially poignant. But uh, I love it, and I think you're going to like it too, especially if you like hardcore music. So without further ado, hold on. I can, I can say it. I can say it. Hold on. A MOBA. All right, let's do it.
Here's the first side. <clears throat> Let's do the other side. Well, there you have it, folks. There is some angry stock homies right there. Hold on, hold on.
I can say it. A MOBA! From Stockholm, Sweden. There you go. Hope you liked it. I will see you next week. And until then, remember to... What are what are we gonna? What is the good moral uh, lesson I should leave with you tonight? I would say go ahead and start studying ninja mind control. Later. Next time.